Hello and thanks for watching this series of videos on Acumatica 2020 R1, a series of new features. So today we're going to look at some workflow features in the CRM area of Acumatica. So to get started, under Opportunities, if we create a new opportunity. And we pick our class ID and our stage. And we'll pick a customer here. Adam Wilson. And we save it. We now have these action buttons up here. And what they allow you to do is navigate to different statuses without having to change the status and the stage and do it all in separate steps. So for example, right now you can see the status is grayed out. You no longer change this as a field. Instead, when we're ready to open up this opportunity, we click open. And Acumatica comes up with a dialog box that gives us the ability to set the reason and the stage. So the different opportunity stages that we've configured for this opportunity class. We'll take a look at that in a second. So we click OK. And now Acumatica gives us a close as one button. And if we click that, we have a reason as to why we won the opportunity or the stage, the final stage as we've won it. Now, if I hit cancel here under actions, we also have a close as lost. And these are the different reasons that are mapped to the lost status. And again, the stages where you want to put it. Now, if we take a look at our opportunity class ID, there's some additional settings. We now have the default owner as an option. And where do I get the default owner? Well, I could get it from the creator, meaning the user that's logged in, the employee that's logged in. I can get it from the assignment map. Acumatic has assignment maps, and we're going to get to that in a second. But assignments that you can do, a processing screen to assign opportunities during that map there is an option to assign the owner. And then from the source entity, so what is the contact or perhaps the business account, pull that owner from that particular contact and then the opportunity will inherit that. So that's a new setting there. So let's close that and now let's go to our opportunities process screen for update opportunities. So we now have an operation here called update settings. And we could select a few opportunities here. This is a filter for just my opportunities. And if I hit the process button, Acumatica comes up and it asks me what are the different values that I want. So this is similar. Generic inquiries allow you to do this where you can change the settings and stuff. But now we have this execute option. And our actions are, just as we saw before, open, close as one, and close as lost. So if I select open, for example, this is one particular opportunity that I have the ability to reopen up. If I go to all records, I'll see more. So for example, new opportunities and those kinds of things. I could reopen up lost or reopen up one. Typically you do this with new opportunities. But additionally, we can close as one. So if I select all my status here, these are all opportunities that we could select. And if I select any of these and I say process, Acumatica gives us the very same dialog box with the ability to set a reason for why we want it, a stage perhaps as an option, and then we can click OK and now it'll update all of those opportunities. So that's opportunities. Additionally, we have the ability, if we go to our support cases, to now have actions for our cases. So if we open up a case, here's a new one, there's now a button right here to open this case as opposed to, again, modifying the status and then setting a reason, for example. Modifying the status and then setting a reason. So if I hit open here, Acumatica will say, well, what's the reason that we've opened? Is it in process? Is it going right into escalation? And who is the owner? And we could set that right here. 
So when we click OK, we now have additional options here to close the case, or if we go to Actions, we could set it to Pending Customer. Pending Customer gives us the ability to have a reason for that pending customer. So these are all designed to help you perform these actions quicker rather than setting up a couple of fields. You only have to press one action button and then you're given the options you need. This means that your data is set up more consistently across the board and it saves time for your users. If I click close, now I have the ability to select the reasons, resolved, rejected, canceled, or abandoned. I'll click OK on that and now this case is closed. Now additionally under support, under processes, we have update cases just like opportunities and again you have the ability to update settings which if we process a record here we'll see all the options that we can process and change but again we also have execute action and I select some cases maybe cases that are new I can assign those cases in process and give them to a specific owner all from the mass processing screen so that's it that's CRM the ability to process actions right from the main screen and also from the processing screens through opportunities as well as support cases. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Our information is at the end of the video. Thanks so much and have a great day.